Hey guys, so I am here today with my empties, my home fragrance empties for the month of October. So this is all candles, wax mouth, etc. I try to be festive with all my like orange and black, trying to be Halloween-y here. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, anyway, let's just get right into it. To start, I actually have a candle that's, this is Gatsby's toy, just to like kind of keep him occupied. <laughs> I have a candle that's still burning, but it's gonna be done by the end of today. So I'm like, let me just kind of pop it in here. Um, of course, it's not really going to focus, is it? It is. So, you know what? I can always light it back up, right? It's Sensational's White Pumpkin. Um, this candle lived with an Illumilin on it. It is a soy candle, so there's almost, there is, there's no soot. It was perfectly clean, burnt perfectly. Well, even with an Illumilin. I had to foil it. Hi. <laughs> I had to foil it one time, um, and then I just left the you know I love you too and then I just left the aluminum lid on it and it was totally fine after that first foil but if I didn't have the aluminum lid on it it would have um, tunneled like a bitch so it was a little annoying that I had to live in aluminum lid but whatever scent throw was okay it's a really pretty scent it was definitely better in a smaller room because it wasn't super strong but I liked it in my living room so I kind of just use it as a blending candle like to blend with other candles and other scents um, I never really burnt it on its own, and the nice thing about this was it was a very unique scent. Like a spicy type of pumpkin, but a different spice, not like the spice that we're used to when you hear pumpkin spice. Um, so it went really nicely with both bakery candles, with spicy candles, it really went well with everything. So um, I wouldn't purchase it again, it still has a lot of wax residue, and it wasn't like that fascinating of a scent or that interesting that I would need it again. But, I mean, it was fine for what it did. It lasted a month. Um, it didn't really sit, so I'll take it. Next, I have Bath & Body Works Pumpkin Cupcake. I already froze this and, like, de-chunked the wax I, because I love pumpkin cupcake, and I'm for sure going to put this in, like, a tart melter because it's a great scent. Um, this was interesting. It was really strong, the first two burns, and then in the middle here, I couldn't smell a thing, even in my teeny tiny bathroom, and then once it got to the halfway point, the last half of it was powerfully strong. Like, if it was in my bathroom, it flew out into the hallway and just did its thing. So, except for like that one little slip up in the middle, it was fine. Um, and I haven't really had much luck with our mason jars this year, so this was definitely a good one. Um, so, now that this wax is at the end, I'm hoping it'll be nice and strong and warmer because that at bottom end wax was great. And next I have a full Bath and Body Works in Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Um, I don't know why I keep buying this one every year because I'm not crazy about it, but there's just something unique about it. It's almost like a dry kind of spice scent and it's really interesting and like I guess I've just been buying it so long that I can't not buy it. Like, I always have to have it. Even though it's not a favorite, I'm not crazy about it. Um, it's just like a great candle for one of those things like when you have a couple other ones burning and you want like a mixer candle but you're not quite sure what you want to mix with it. This kind of just goes with everything. It's not like an offensive smell. It's a nice background scent. It's guest friendly. So it was just kind of always there, always burning, always in the background. Great for when I was like, I don't know what the hell I want to burn. So that is sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Oh, I got a toy. Good boy. Um, next is a hot mess, Yankee Candle Cider Web. I pretty much burnt this every night until it died because I was sick of it and I wanted nothing to do with it anymore. I will link my vlog below where I did candle surgery on this and all that really helped with was the burn. Um, it did not really soot, maybe like very slightly, but really not at all. Um, it burnt very clean, very even, as long as it had an Illumilid or a shade on it. Um, if it did not have a shade or an Illumilid, it went right back to tunneling even after I did all that surgery to fix the tunneling. After all of that work and all everything I did for this candle to make it, you know, somewhat functioning, it had zero scent throw, and I mean zero, until it got to the very, very end. And I don't know if you can see, like, see the oil on the side there? It's like super oily at the very bottom and the last two burns I had of this one, I had it in my bathroom and I could smell it faintly, like maybe a three, a three and a half on throw, which is not impressive, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> 
it was pretty shitty I just had it anytime I had any other apple going it was just there for ambiance and that was that or like if I had other apple scents I was like maybe that'll kind of conjure it up and get it going um, of course it never really did but it didn't stop me from trying so that's cider web sorry I seem to drink next I have this little root candle and that's just because I've heard a lot of people on Facebook raving about the root candles and then one of my best friends who is just as much a candle freak as me and all of us she picked up the three pack of root candles from TJ Maxx and she's like oh my god these are great like you need to try them so I went to my TJ Maxx and they didn't have the three pack they had one like standalone and it was two dollars so I was like whatever I'll try it and this is in pumpkin cookie and this itty bitty little thing um, I don't know how many ounces it is, but it's small. But this tiny little thing was so strong. I had it in first in my hallway, and it held its own in my hallway, even with the other candles it was with. And then I had it in my um, bathroom, and it was a perfect bathroom scent because even though it's pumpkin cookie, it's more spice than bakery. It only has like the faintest hint of bakery, so it was really nice in a bathroom. And it's just like a really nice like creamy pumpkin spice type of scent so I really enjoyed this it sooted very little um, that's actually a lot for a soy candle but that's my fault because the soot did not happen until the very bottom of this candle and that's just because on the last burn I did not trim the wick <laughs> and it was like pretty long and had a huge mushroom top and I just like lit it for the final burn and it sooted like crazy on that last burn so that was entirely my fault other than that it was perfectly clean it had an even flawless burn the whole time through and the scent is so nice that I actually am going to freeze this guy and pop the rest of the wax out and put it on one of my burners because I just really enjoyed it. Um, so it's a root candle. And one more mason jar and I'll get into my melts. And it is in caramel pumpkin, caramel pumpkin swirl. Uh, a little different than pumpkin cupcake. This was virtually unscented, the first half of the candle. But the second half of the candle, it was you would have thought it was a three wick burning. That's how strong it got. So I guess all the scent was concentrated in the bottom of this. <laughs> I don't exactly know what happened, but that was kind of frustrating. I'm just there for ambiance the first half, and then the second half, I was like, whoa. Like, I could have this in my hallway or even my living room on its own. All I smelled was pumpkin caramel swirl, which was a great scent the second half when I could smell it. Um, so now let's get into wax melts and let's start with this uh, Sensationals Pretty in Pink. This is a really nice, sweet, pink, perfumey scent. It's not florally, maybe a little fruity. It smells like a ninth grader's perfume. <laughs> if you just started high school and this was like the first perfume you got at like Claire's or like Abercrombie and Fitch, I don't know, but like it smells like a ninth grader's perfume. Like, you know, when you see like a teenage or like a preteen girl, like a tween girl, like running around the mall and you can like smell that overpowering, like you can tell it's like a little girl perfume. That's what this smelled like. <laughs> oh, that was that. Um, these are the rest of them. So I finished a Kringle Candle Apple Cider Donut. Um, and I just finished this because I couldn't smell a thing so I ended up burning like the final three chunks together because I was burning two together and I could barely smell it maybe like a one a one and a half throw so finally I had three left and I was like F it I'm just gonna burn all three together which is exactly what I did and I still could barely smell it like barely <laughs> so that was um, a dud another Kringle I had touch of autumn in the wax melts and this is actually really nice um it should have just said in the description clove like 100% clove pure clove nothing but clove this is a clove scent but it didn't it had a bunch of other crap in the description but it is pure straight up clove but it was really nice because it wasn't an overwhelming or overpowering clove it was like a lighter um a lighter scent a lighter throw and I actually really like blending this with other candles. Um, this blended really nicely with Goose Creek's Cozy Home. And I forgot what else I blended with, but I mixed this with like a couple different candles that were going. And it was like a really nice boost. And like, oh, I think I even did it with like buttercream icing. And so that clovey spice was really nice with a lot of other candles. So I can't complain about that one. Um, I wouldn't purchase it again though because I'm not crazy about clove and I had to mix it to enjoy it. I wouldn't want to burn that alone because I can't do straight up clove. Um, next is another Kringle and it's Espresso Crema in the Daylight. And I emptied this out when it got to the very bottom and wouldn't burn anymore. I just cut it up and melted it on my warmer. 
and the Senthra was virtually the same when it melted on the warmer and when it was just going on its own as like a regular lit daylight. I wasn't crazy about the scent. It smells like bitter coffee. Like it smells like the bottom of an espresso pot, like an espresso that's been sitting out all day and you came in at like five o'clock at night and like had the like remainder, like the crusty espresso at the bottom of the pot. That's what this smells like. I'm just not crazy about it. Like there's nothing sweet or creamy to it. It's just like strong ass bitter day old espresso so I, I can do without that and I think I'm also spoiled because I love Bath and Body Works gourmet espresso so much that has more of like a creamy sweetness to it um and this was just yeah, I wasn't crazy about it but luckily it wasn't super super strong so it was fine uh, lastly for melts I have Goose Creek's Cabin in the Woods and I actually have all of them in here that's how much I hate this scent I just can't do it there's something in here that smells like bug spray. Not in a good way, like bitter, astringent-y, disgusting type of bug spray. I, that may just be me because I've heard rave reviews. So many other people love this. I cannot throw this out. This is all the wax melts except for one, and I promise you, this is strong. And that's why I couldn't burn this because I couldn't mix it with anything else. I had this going with like some of my strongest candles, and it overpowered everything. I put it into the back of my apartment, like I shoved it in the back of the bedroom. I could smell it all the way into my front door. That's how strong it was. So again, this is Goose Creek's Cabin in the Woods. Um, if you like this scent or if you want to try this scent, please leave me a comment and let me know because I will send this to you entirely free of charge. I will pay for the packing. I will pay for the shipping. I will pay for all of it. I just, I can't do this. I can't handle this scent. It is not for me. Um, I don't want to throw it out. That just seems super, super wasteful. So, and this is a scent that you like or you want to try please leave me a comment down below or send me a private message on YouTube. Um, I will happily send this to you. Just let me know, please take it off my hands. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's move on to wallflower. This was Bath and Body Works Dolce, which is a really old scent, um, which is probably why I couldn't smell a thing. This was in my kitchen and it was unscented. Next is Bath and Body Works Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I actually left the tag on this one and this was not that strong. I couldn't really smell it um, yeah I have another one going that's super strong that was probably just a dud I've never had a dud in a wallflower but that was a dud I mean from day one like I plugged it in and even Dan was like why do we have this here I can't smell a thing I'm like I know I thought this was supposed to be strong so that sucked and finally I have another palm leaves this one's great palm leaves is actually the best wallflower I've ever had by far the strongest and this is in my bathroom it's like a constant bathroom scent so that's that for my wallflowers. That's that for all my home fragrance empties. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, sad that October's over. Happy Halloween. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.